The Oyster Catcher Trail Run is a two-day meander from the Horitz River mouth along the beautiful St. Blaise hiking route, finishing in Mossel Bay. The route covers a total of 38 kilometers. For the first stage of the trail, runners had to make their way from Horitz River mouth 20 kilometers to Bochum's Bay. Along the way, they'll experience the famous Southern Cape Dunes and the escarpment. The terrain would be testing as it ranged from soft sand through to technical rock running, offering a challenge to all level of runners. We really want to promote an outdoor life to encourage people to get out there. There's so many different sports to take part in and the trail run is an important part of our festival. It's something quite special and unique. It's a two day event and this must surely be one of the most beautiful trail runs in the country. We have a beautiful coastline. If you're lucky this time of the year, you can see some whales and dolphins. And we really want to make this festival into a huge event. The race was a little bit different and there are a, a number of other events out there, not many, uh, where the route is actually not marked. So on day one, we gave the guys a, a map to run with. Uh, that sort of indicated more or less where there are trails, but the guys still had to find their own routes and their own trails. Some trails were quicker than others. Some guys went a little bit higher up the dunes and then paid the price a little bit later on. Well, coming from Salamash, we're not, we're not uh, used to any sand, so running on these beaches was something else. It was flatter. Uh, we had those dunes that we're not used to, but those technical sections that varied between the dunes and the, uh, and the rocks was something else. It was really challenging and uh, it, was, it was good to have um, a bit of um, varied terrain that we not, you don't know, usually see around the Cape. After the water point at 12 kilometers, there was a three kilometer stretch where there was no particular trail at all. So the guys had to do a lot of rock hopping over the rocks and over round uh, boulders and stuff like that. So uh, I, I know that that three kilometer section was particularly difficult for the bigger portion of the field. I've been talking about the technical sections and being challenging, but it was definitely the, the highlight. You know, it was a lot of excitement and got the adrenaline pumping also a little bit. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Got to the second section, which was quite uh, technical, and fortunately had a bit of an uh, accident, rolled my ankle quite badly, and I uh, thought I wasn't going to be able to finish it, but uh, managed to managed to hobble over the finish line, which <laughs> which was uh, yeah, it was all good fun though, good race, beautiful surroundings. So. The area between Mossel Bay, west of Mossel Bay, from Mossel Bay right through to the Choritz River is a very unspoiled area and is, is, is an area so rich in, in marine life, in archaeology and in, uh, in plant life and it, it's such a great history and it is an area which is not overdeveloped. We were blessed with beautiful weather, uh, the route was spectacular and uh, we, we really believe that this race can grow into one of the signature events on the calendar. Stage two saw runners leaving the Sandpiper Cottages and heading along the St. Blaise Trail to the final destination of Mossel Bay. The race started at Donna Bay at Second Beach. And the guys ran uh, along the beach. They started off with a nice uh, beach section at low tide. And then they ran up towards the St. Blaise hiking trail. Uh, where they ran for about 13 kilometers on absolutely pristine uh, trails on top of the cliffs uh, all the way to Mossel Bay Lighthouse uh, and the point. Uh, you know, it was, it was quite challenging, some of the, some of the technical stuff and uh, the undulating flow of the, of the trails made it, uh, you know, you can ne never really find a rhythm. 
the, the absolute beauty of, of the trails here just surpasses all of the um, frustration and all of the, the suffering we had today. So it was, it was absolutely beautiful. And I think it lends itself more to, to the trail type running, the old fashioned style trail running where you're running on the trail and you're finding your own way. Um, and it's not hectically navigating because the sea is there. So basically you always know roughly where you are. If the sea's on your right, you're good to go. And I think that's a bit nicer than just arrows and head down and just only go on a marked route. Um, that, made it, that set it apart from other runs and I think that's the, probably the way to go. Um, it just makes it more fun and more interesting. No, I've never spit in your camera. <laughs> Enjoy it. A big portion of the race is through protected uh, conservancy area. Uh, members of the public are not allowed to be there uh, for obvious reasons. The oyster catcher birds are breeding there and uh, there are quite a number of people in the area that, uh, that hold the oyster catchers very close to their hearts. So we were, we were blessed with the opportunity to run through these areas. Uh, obviously the field will always be limited to, uh, to, to a number of guys that the route can cater for. Uh, but it was uh, fantastic to see oyster catchers along the route and, and to see how the guys enjoyed themselves out there. The stretch of coast between Khoritz River and Mossel Bay is home to an abundance of wildlife, including the African black oyster catcher bird, the image used to mark the trail, hence the name of the event. The views are fantastic. I mean, we see running on the cliffs today Looking down into the sea, it's just amazing. I get goosebumps. What was also fascinating about the feedback is that the two days were completely different uh, in terms of terrain and in terms of the challenge that it poised uh, to the runners. So uh, it, it catered for uh, a variety of different uh, talents and uh, different specialities and uh, I think the guys really had a good time out there. For me, it's just the relaxed atmosphere, getting out for the, going away for the weekend, running on beautiful, beautiful, pristine trails. Um, well, life's good. <laughs> <laughs>